Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you that I just got back from Los Angeles, California. My friend Kara and I took this trip together. Neither one of us had ever been to Los Angeles. I had never been to the West Coast, so I was really excited to see the Pacific Ocean for the first time. I've been to quite a few places on the East Coast, but never the West Coast. So I was really excited to see the Pacific Ocean for once, and then was really excited to see some of the places that we saw in Los Angeles as well. So guess what? I was finally discovered in Hollywood as a real actress. I got to star in an Alfred Hitchcock movie where I died in the bathtub. And let me tell you, I died in that bathtub really, really well. It won me an award such as this. And really, this is real. It is not like you can find one of these little awards in every single gift shop on Hollywood Boulevard. I talked it over with Steven Spielberg and we discussed a couple career options and we really thought that this was the best fit for me is to be in the dying scenes in a murder mystery. So I think I found my career. Um, I'm going to be a real actress. One of the first things I did after becoming a celebrity is Kara and I got tattoos. And naturally, because that's what you do when you are a celebrity, is you get arrested. Because what kind of a celebrity would I be if I did not get arrested? Um, other fun things that I get to do in Hollywood is I get to take selfies with my friend Johnny Depp. I get to hang out with my best friend, Carrie Underwood. I get to talk to Julie Roberts about one of my favorite chick flicks, Runaway Bride. I ate chocolates with Tom Hanks. I took a selfie with President Obama. And I got to laugh about some of my favorite comedies with my favorite comedian, Jim Carrey. So I think instead, you know, for convenience, I think that I'll stick with my one bedroom apartment rather than buying a mansion out in Hollywood because I don't want those annoying tourists coming by my house. So just to make life easier, I think I'll keep my one bedroom apartment and I just will hold off on buying a $20 million mansion at the moment. So after talking to Steven Spielberg, I really think that I can make my own Hollywood movie. So here we go. Here's my first Hollywood movie. Um, I have one of these things that, and uh, one of these. So here we go. Action. So we're driving to LA and as we're entering the city, oh my gosh, the traffic. It is crazy. Six lanes of traffic all going one way, six lanes of traffic going the other way. I'm really glad I wasn't driving. Kara's probably glad I wasn't driving and that's all I have to say about traffic is, oh my gosh, the traffic. Insane. We decided that once we got to Los Angeles and we actually got to the place where we were going to be staying, which was actually just a couple blocks from Hollywood Boulevard, so that worked out really, really nicely, we decided that after spending over five hours in the car from the drive to Phoenix to Los Angeles, we thought, you know, let's just take it easy today and let's drive to the beach. Let's just sit on the beach, sit by the ocean, listen to the waves, and just kind of relax. And we'll do all of the walking and all of the museums that we wanted to do tomorrow. So that's what we did. We set down our stuff and we got back in the car and we drove to Santa Monica to Venice Beach. Venice Beach in Santa Monica is where I can say that I got to see the Pacific Ocean for the first time. And it was absolutely spectacular and amazing. I don't get to see the ocean very often because I live in the Midwest. And getting to be beside it, getting to sit beside it, getting to walk in the water um, with barefoot on the sand and splashing around in it, even though it was cold, way too cold to swim in that water, but um, it was absolutely breathtaking, so much fun, and just one of my favorite things to do in life is just to be beside the ocean.
On day two, Kara and I set out for Hollywood Boulevard, which was just a couple blocks from where we were staying. One of the amazing and beautiful buildings that we were able to see was the Chinese Theater. Outside the Chinese Theater, there's all of these, the sidewalk where there's all these cement blocks where there's actors and actresses' handprints, footprints, and signatures in these cement blocks. Kara and I learned that the actors and the actresses whose name are in these blocks had to have been invited to participate in this event. So it's an invitation only kind of thing and it's a big honor to receive this invitation to be asked if they would like to have their handprints, their footprints, and their signature in this in this cement in front of the Chinese theater. It's a big honor. So some of the actors and actresses squares I was able to get a picture of were actors and actresses that included Meryl Streep, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Robin Williams, Tom Hanks, John Goodman, Ben Stiller, Johnny Depp, Sandra Bullock, Dick Van Dyke, the main characters from Harry Potter, the main characters from Twilight, and some of the cast from West Side Story. One of the other cool things that Kara and I got to do was visit Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. Now this was something that Kara and I wanted to make sure that we did when we were in Hollywood because it was probably the closest to the stars we were actually going to get. But nevertheless, the wax museum was absolutely incredible. The wax figures of these actors and actresses and singers looked so real and it was it was absolutely amazing so some of the wax people that i was able to get a picture of and take some selfies with and get to participate in some of the scenes with were people such as johnny depp i got to fist bump with shrek we saw george clooney carrie underwood conan o'brien jennifer lopez ryan reynolds Taylor Swift, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, Halle Berry, Will Smith, Morgan Freeman, Meryl Streep, Denzel Washington, Julia Roberts, Charlie Chaplin, Ingrid Bergman, Marilyn Monroe, Alfred Hitchcock, Elvis Presley, Audrey Hepburn, John Wayne, Tom Hanks, Patrick Swayze, President Obama. It was really fun to put my feet up on the desk and take that picture with him. Jim Carrey, one of my favorite comedians. Steven Spielberg, Leonardo DiCaprio, Robin Williams, got to shoot a scene with E.T., Madonna, Michael Jackson, Tony Hawk, Clint Eastwood, Colin Farrell, Patrick Stewart, Spider-Man, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, The Avengers, got to ride a motorcycle with Wolverine, Jennifer Lawrence, and got to see Madame Tussauds herself, or at least made out of wax. One of the other things that Kara and I did was we took a bus tour up into Beverly Hills to Bel Air and on Rodeo Drive. And then he also, the bus took us to a place where we could look at almost the entire city of Los Angeles, which was absolutely a spectacular, awesome view. And then you could also see the Hollywood sign as well. So that was really, really helpful to us. And that saved us from having to drive. And more importantly, it saved us from having to find a place to park, which is, was a big pain. So the bus tour really helped out with that, and of course the tour guide knew exactly where things were. I don't remember whose home belonged to who, like what belonged to what actor, actress, celebrity, whatever, um, but the drive was really, really nice, and going up into Beverly Hills and Bel Air, they were saying that there was no mansion that was under $20 million there.
Some of the cool things that we learned was in Beverly Hills and Bel Air and Rodeo Drive, you know how your street signs are usually green or sometimes they're blue? Well, up in this area, this part of Los Angeles, this part of Hollywood, is all of the street signs are black and white. Um, so one of my souvenirs that I bought for myself was a street sign that says Hollywood and Vine. Now Hollywood Boulevard is in a normal street sign color, it is in blue, but I decided that's why I got mine in black and white because I wanted to kind of represent the other part of Hollywood that we saw too and I thought it was prettier. So this is one of my souvenirs that I got in Hollywood. One of the other things that I really wanted to do besides seeing the Pacific Ocean for the first time was to see the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And the one star that I really wanted to see, that I really wanted to make sure that I got around to seeing was actress Mariska Hargitay from Law and Order Special Victims Unit. I really wanted to see her star. I'm a victim advocate at a domestic and sexual violence shelter and not only is the show about domestic and sexual violence and raising awareness around those issues, but she's also an advocate that's really helped work toward the betterment of people who have survived domestic violence and sexual assault. So this was really important for me to see her star because she is someone that does encourage me, that does inspire me, and so it was an honor to see her star on the Walk of Fame and right next to her star was her mom, Jane Mansfield. And so it was just a lot of fun to see that star and that again was the one star that I really wanted to see. The other star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame that I absolutely had to see was the Backstreet Boys. Now, if you are an NSYNC fan, please, no comments. But I absolutely had to see the Backstreet Boys star, so that was a lot of fun. Some of the other stars that I really wanted to make sure that I got on picture that were on the Walk of Fame was Bernadette Peters, the Rugrats, Bud Abbott, and Lou Costello, Judy Garland, Danny DeVito, Sandra Bullock, Keanu Reeves, Robin Williams, John Denver, that's for my grandpa, Elvis Presley, The Beatles, Dick Wolf, Tom Hanks, Johnny Depp, Reba McIntyre, Meryl Streep, Jane Mansfield, Johnny Cash, Lucille Ball, that's for my mom, Carol Burnett, Vincent Price, Mickey Rooney, Jimi Hendrix, Jimi Henson, Leonard Nimoy, Harrison Ford, Rascal Flatts, Drew Carey, Larry King, Jamie Lee Curtis, Dr. Seuss, Dolly Parton, Cameron Diaz, Emma Thompson, Tim Conway, Journey, Adam West, Marilyn Monroe, Jay Leno, Donald Duck, Disneyland, Bette Midler, Gwyneth Paltrow, Robert Stack, that's for my grandma, Sophia Vergara, which I wanted to include her because she had just been inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame the day before we got there. So that was the newest star when we were at the Hollywood Walk of Fame was Sophia's star. And Walt Disney. Another neat thing that we got to do was go to a Los Angeles Angels baseball game. That night they were playing the Houston Astros. Kara, one of her co-workers, one of her former co-workers, got us into the baseball game. He is a, he works on the radio and so he was able to, we were able to go up to the broadcasting booth and get a really good view from up there and then we got to go down into the stands and just enjoy the baseball game. Now the Los Angeles Angels did end up losing by one point I believe but it was still a really good game and of course a fireworks display at the end.
one of the things that we did earlier that day before going to the baseball game was we went to Newport to Orange County and we went to the beach there at Newport Beach and so I got to see the Pacific Ocean again and stick my feet in the water and just walk along the beach which I can't I honestly cannot get sick of doing that A while after we were there, something washed up on the shore and it was this big, what looked like a really, really big shell from a distance away and I was kind of hoping it would be empty, but then as I picked it up, I figured out, oh, it's moving inside and that's why I'm making that face in that picture. Um, but it's, I never, I haven't figured out what type of um, animal, sea animal that it is yet. I have a couple people that's supposed to look at the picture, but as of right now, um, I don't know. I can't tell you what it is <laughs> accurately, so I don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, but anyway, that was really neat to kind of see this wash up on the shore. We did put him back, and um, everything was okay. So, um, but that was really, really cool um, seeing the ocean again, of course. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train Going anywhere Just a city boy Born and raised in South Detroit He took the midnight train Going
trip to Los Angeles, California was very spectacular. I'm so glad we went on it. It was something that Shay and I both wanted to do. I wanted to see the West Coast. So I, I this, like I said, this is the first time that I got to see the West Coast. The first time I got to see the Pacific Ocean. I got to see Mariska Hargitay star. I got to see the Backstreet Boys star and a lot of other extremely famous, wonderful actors and actresses of Hollywood and of around the world that I got to see as well. So very, very good experience and I'm glad that we went and lots of fun times. We ate a lot of good seafood. We had Korean food. Um, just a all around really, really good time. This is a very unexpected award. I did not expect it to get discovered in Hollywood, California, doing that murder scene and that scary, mysterious Alfred Hitchcock movie, but I look forward to working for you and acting and being a future actress in Hollywood. You can check out my fan club because I have one of those. I don't remember the web address, but I'll get back to you and autographs are always welcome and always available. That's a wrap.